During the month of May, there are many memorial services conducted to help us remember the vibrancy and warmth of the people behind those names etched in stone. My name is Jennifer Jones Byers, and my father's name is on this memorial. I am a survivor. What is a survivor? When most hear the word survivor, it is assumed it belongs to someone who battled cancer and survived, or who recovered from a terrible accident. Another definition of a survivor is a person who continues to function or prosper in spite of opposition, hardship, or setback. For every survivor, there has been heartache, but every survivor has also experienced a unique sense of thankfulness. That's because each loved one lost leaves behind a legacy of service, kindness, and strength, and the lasting goodness of deeds that saved lives, comforted many, guided the lost, and built a family of survivors who will keep their memories alive. There are 46 names of the Indiana State Police carved on this memorial. As survivors, we vow to ensure they will never be forgotten, and we honor each of them with gratitude and grace. Trooper Eugene Teague, Indianapolis, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed June 1, 1933. Killed December 20, 1933, in Paris, Illinois, during the capture of members of the Dillinger Gang. Trooper Paul V. Miniman, Logansport, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 1, 1935. Killed May 27, 1937, by gunshot while attempting to capture members of the Brady Gang. And my husband, Master Trooper David E. Rich, Wabash, Indiana, Peru Post, appointed November 19, 1989, killed July 5, 2007, when a motorist he stopped to assist opened fire on him as he approached the disabled vehicle on US 24 in Wabash County. My name is Connie Rich and I am a surviving wife. Trooper William R. Dixon, South Bend, Indiana, Dunes Park Post, appointed September 1st, 1935, killed June 28, 1938 by gunshot while attempting to apprehend members of the Easton Gang. Trooper George A. Forrester, Seymour, Indiana, Seymour Post, appointed September 1st, 1938, died May 17, 1941, in a traffic accident near Vernon, Indiana, and my former husband, Master Trooper David A. Duder, Angola, Indiana, Tow Road Post, appointed April 1st, 1972, died July 16, 1998, while he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while conducting a traffic stop along the Indiana Toll Road in LaGrange County. My name is Deborah Duter Spidell and I am a surviving spouse. And these are my daughters, Jacqueline and Madeline. Trooper Richard F. England, Columbia City, Indiana, Ligonier Post, appointed January 20th, 1936, died April 22nd, 1942, of injuries received in a traffic accident near Kimmel, Indiana. Trooper Herbert W. Smith, Shelbyville, Indiana, Connorsville Post, appointed November 2nd, 1942, killed December 5th, 1946, near Shelbyville, Indiana, when fired upon by a traffic violator, and my father, Master Trooper Michael E. Green, Thorntown, Indiana, Indianapolis Post, appointed June 10th, 1976, killed February 5th, 1993, by gunshot along Interstate 65 in Marion County, Indiana, while arresting a person wanted on a warrant. My name is Michael Green, and I am a surviving son. Trooper Robert E. Clevenger, Centerville, Indiana, Connorsville Post, appointed September 1st, 1952, died September 8, 1953, in a traffic crash while pursuing a violator. Sergeant Hubert E. Rausch, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters, appointed July 14, 1941, died January 26, 1955, in an automobile crash near Indianapolis. And my father, 
Trooper Robert C. Gillespie, Bedford, Indiana, Seymour Post, appointed September 1st, 1950, died June 8th, 1962, of injuries sustained in a traffic crash near Mitchell, Indiana. My name is Dennis Gillespie, and I am a surviving son. Trooper Earl L. Brown, Columbus, Indiana, Seymour Post, appointed October 16, 1940, killed August 31, 1955, while searching a suspect. Sergeant John R. Miller, Lafayette, Indiana, Lafayette Post, appointed September 1, 1941, died September 5, 1955, in an airplane crash while on Labor Day patrol. And my first husband, Trooper Richard T. Gaston, Indianapolis, Indiana, Toll Road Post, appointed December 13, 1998, died March 4, 1999, when a semi-tractor trailer drove off the road and struck his vehicle, killing him and two people in another car. My name is Amy Gaston Stair, and I am a surviving wife. Trooper Donald R. Turner, Auburn, Indiana, Ligonier Post, appointed November the 1st, 1946, died January the 26th, 1956, from injuries sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he assisted a wrecker operator pull a vehicle from a ditch. First Sergeant Marvin E. Waltz, New Albany, Indiana, Charleston Post, appointed September the 1st, 1937, killed March 18, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by a suspected bank robber. And my father, Trooper Robert J. Garrison, Montpelier, Indiana, Red Key Post, appointed October 1st, 1955, died December 14th, 1959, instantly of head injuries sustained in an automobile crash on State Road 67. My name is Paul Garrison, and I am a surviving son. And my name is Laura Boggs, surviving daughter of Trooper Robert Garrison. Trooper William R. Kellums, Indianapolis, Indiana, Charlestown Post, appointed November 15, 1956, killed September 30, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by fugitives wanted for murder. Trooper John H. Powell, Otterbeen, Indiana, Lafayette Post, appointed December 1st, 1954, died February 27, 1959, when he was struck by an oncoming vehicle placing an electronic timing device on the roadway. Trooper William F. Kaiser, Tell City, Indiana, Charlestown Post, appointed Operations Clerk, October 16, 1957, appointed as a trooper March 16, 1958, killed March 9, 1965, by gunshot while investigating a suspicious person near Ramsey, Indiana. Trooper Oscar E. Mills, Hobart, Indiana, Lafayette Post, appointed September 16, 1955, died April 12, 1966, as a result of injuries sustained in an automobile crash while traveling west on State Road 18 at Carroll or County Road 350 in Carroll County. Trooper William R. Rayner, Greensburg, Indiana, Versailles Post, appointed September 1, 1957, killed December 18, 1966, by gunshot inflicted by escapees from a Kentucky state prison occupying a stolen car. Trooper Richard G. Brown, Lebanon Post, appointed May 1, 1955. Died September 27, 1967, as a result of injuries sustained in a car truck crash on Interstate 74 in Boone County. Trooper Robert O. Leitzen, Westville, Indiana. Connorsville Post, appointed August 16, 1961 killed March 30, 1969, by a gunshot inflicted by a mentally deranged subject armed with a rifle 
who had been firing at random from a barricaded position, and my first husband, Trooper Jason E. Beal. Shelbyville, Indiana, Freeman Post, appointed December 13, 1998, died January 15, 2000, from injury sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he helped a wrecker operator who was pulling a car out of a ditch. My name is Emily Beal Nealis, and I am his surviving wife, and I was pregnant with our son Cody when Jason died. Sergeant George W. Campbell, Brazil, Indiana, Putnamville Post, appointed September 1, 1950, died June 18, 1969, of a heart attack during the arrest of a truck driver who had attempted to drive by the Putnamville truck scales. Trooper John J. Strew, Logansport, Indiana, Sherryville Post, appointed April 16, 1970, killed February 20, 1971, by gunshot. Marshal John Larimer of St. John, Indiana, was also fatally wounded as the two officers investigated two suspicious subjects behind a school building. Sergeant Glenn R. Hosier, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post, appointed May 1, 1955, killed April 26, 1971, by gunshot while attempting to apprehend a subject being sought for murder in Peru, Indiana. Trooper William J. Trees, Oakland City, Indiana, Evansville Post, appointed September 1, 1968, died June 26, 1972 in an automobile accident while pursuing a fleeing vehicle at a high rate of speed. Trooper Lawrence B. Meyer, Sellersburg, Indiana, Charlestown Post, appointed September 1, 1968, died February 2, 1974 of a heart attack during a foot pursuit of an escaped prisoner. Trooper Lewis E. Phillips, Michigan City, Indiana, Dunes Park Post, appointed February 27, 1973, died April 16, 1975, as a result of injuries sustained in an automobile crash on US-20 when his patrol car collided with a semi-tractor trailer. And my husband, Lieutenant Gary E. Dudley, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters, appointed December 14, 1979, died August 22, 2006, when he was struck by a motor vehicle while participating in a bike ride to honor fallen police officers. Lake County Sheriff's Department Chief of Police Gary Martin also died as a result of the crash. My name is Carolyn Dudley and I'm a surviving wife. Trooper Stephen L. Bailey, Richmond, Indiana, headquarters, appointed November 26, 1978, died December 10, 1983, when his weapon discharged while attempting to serve a warrant in Indianapolis. Sergeant John E. Hatful, Evansville, Indiana, Evansville Post, appointed January 28, 1973, killed April 13, 1987, by gunshot while leading the emergency response team into the resident of a suicidal subject in Posey County. Trooper Todd A. Berman, Delphi, Indiana, Lafayette Post, appointed December 9, 1990, killed July 29, 1993, by gunshot while assisting the Camden Town Marshal with the arrest of a disorderly subject. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Ralph R. Reed, Jr., Plymouth, Indiana, Bremen Post, appointed April 16, 1968, died August 3, 1995, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while performing a truck inspection in Plymouth, Indiana. DNA Supervisor Kimberly S. Epperson, Fountaintown, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed February 4, 1985, died November 16, 1995, in an automobile crash while en route to a training assignment at the Lowell Laboratory. And my first husband, Trooper Roy E. Jones, LaPel, Indiana, Pendleton Post, appointed October 17, 1976, died July 3, 1979, in an automobile crash while en route to assist the Markleville Town Marshal. My name is Betty Jones Taylor, and I am a surviving wife. Senior Trooper James Patrick Bartram, Mooresville, Indiana, Putnamville Post, appointed December 19, 1987, died March 31, 1998 of injuries sustained in a traffic crash on State Road 144 
near Mooresville, Indiana. Trooper Corey R. Elson, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Fort Wayne Post, appointed December 13, 1998, killed April 3, 1999, when a driver opened fire on him with an automatic assault rifle during a traffic stop on US-22 in Decatur, Indiana. Trooper Scott A. Patrick, Wheatfield, Indiana, Lowell Post, appointed June 25, 2000, killed December 22, 2003, when a driver opened fire on him as he approached a disabled vehicle along Interstate 80 in Lake County. And my husband, Trooper Robert J. Lather II, Greentown, Indiana, Peru Post, appointed December 15, 1974, died July 6, 1982, in an automobile crash while assisting the Howard County Sheriff's Department in the pursuit of a speeding vehicle. My name is Teresa Lather Bodnick, and I am a survivor wife, along with my son and daughter, Robert J. Lather III and Brienne Miller. Trooper Daniel R. Barrett, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed July the 8th, 2007. Killed January 27, 2008. While attempting to catch a speeding motorist, his car left the roadway and struck a tree on US 31. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Robert E. Pitcher, Cambridge City, Indiana. Assigned to the Richmond Scales. Appointed July the 11th, 1988 killed September the 26th, 2010. While transporting power brake testing equipment on I-70 in Wayne County, he lost control of his vehicle, struck a guardrail, and then crossed the center median into opposing traffic lanes, colliding with a semi-truck trailer. And my husband, Trooper Andrew P. Winsenreed, Osgood, Indiana, Versailles Post. Appointed December the 4th, 1994. Died September the 25th, 1997. When he was struck by a semi-truck trailer while assisting a disabled motorist along I-74 in Decatur County. My name is Cynthia Winsenreed and I'm a surviving wife and this is my daughter, Taylor Winsenreed. These are our brother officers and fellow employees who have passed on. When they departed this life that we still enjoy, they left memories of warm friendship and of loyalty and devotion to the service. The greatest tribute in our power is to pay our departed comrades is this reverent acknowledgement of our obligation to remember them. It has been said the strength of Indiana State Police Department lies in the character of its men and women. You and I long remember the deeds of our deceased, who were ever mindful of their public trust. They have set a pattern we must follow in the days and the years to come. Thus we who remain do reaffirm a pledge that we will continue to uphold the ideas and the traditions for which they died. <laughs>